Hello friends, I am Dr. Ashish Sarwal, urologist and men's health expert from Apollo Hospital, New Delhi. Since 2011, I am doing robotic surgeries in Apollo Hospital. Before that, I was in University of Miami, USA training in robotic surgery from 2008 to 2011. In this three years of training, we did more than 2,000 cases of robotic surgery, especially for prostate cancer. So basically, we had very good experience, very good training. And after my training, I was very confident that I can do good surgery with excellent outcomes. After finishing my training, I came to India in 2011 and started doing robotic surgery for prostate cancer at Apollo Hospital, New Delhi. Right now, I'm regularly doing robotic surgeries for prostate cancer. Since 2011, we have been striving to get excellent results and best outcomes for the patient. Prostate cancer is very sensitive treatment. Not only we have to make the patient cancer free, but also we have to make sure that the urine control comes back soon. There should not be any urinary leakage after the surgery. So we always try to look for the latest research, latest advancements, latest technologies, which we can incorporate in our practice so that we can give excellent outcomes to the patient, both in terms of cancer cure and also in terms of functional recovery. That means urinary control and sexual function return. When I came back from US, that time we used to do surgery with cutting of the endopelvic fascia and also cutting the pubic prosthetic ligaments. And we used to do nerve sparing, but because of cutting of these ligaments, the urine control used to take a little bit longer to come back. But lately we have modified our technique. We are doing the modified hood technique. In hood technique, we basically do not cut any structures around the prostate. Rather than cutting all the structures and removing the prostate, we go inside the prostate and remove the prostate out of the structures. So all the structures for urinary control, the pubic ligament, the endopelvic fascia, all these are not touched and they are not cut. Since they are not cut, it helps in early return of the urinary control and excellent functional outcomes. We have been doing this foot technique for the past one year and all the patients I can say who have undergone the foot technique have had return of the urinary control in more than 99.9% cases. Why I'm not saying 100% is that I'm not following the patients all the time, so I don't know some of them who, how they are doing. But the people who are in close follow-up with me, they are reporting very good urine control. Along with the whole technique, we also put the amniotic nerve wrap. In amniotic nerve wrap, we put amniotic membrane, that is a placental membrane on the neurovascular bundle. This helps in the regeneration of the neurovascular bundle and that helps in early return of the urinary control and the erections. So with these two modifications of hood technique and the neurovascular bundle placement, we guarantee excellent outcomes for the patient. Now having said that, I will present to you a case. This is a live case study. This is a live surgery of a patient who is 63 years old. He had a Gleason 6 prostate cancer and PS of 8 and we did robotic surgery on him. And right now he is 3 months out of surgery. He's cancer free, he's totally continent, he's having intercourse with his partner, there is no problem in his functional or cancer outcomes. So these are our results because I'm a prostate cancer specialist and I'm doing these surgeries regularly. If you're also suffering from prostate cancer and you want to consult me, then you can contact me on email or WhatsApp. My email address and WhatsApp number are given in the description. Thank you.